Today I'm going to show you how to get the vintage warm fall look. First what you're going to do is add a node. Going to drag and drop a color space transform from the effects tab. Fujifilm F-Log is going to be the log for my camera's color space. I'm going to go down to Rec 709 and for the output I'm going to choose Cineon Film Log. I'm going to name this 709. Then after this I'm going to add a LUT and I'm going to add Kodak 2383D65. And you can see this creates a great look already. I'm going to name that LUT. But you can see the highlights up on the waveform. They're like maxed out. They're blown out. So what we're going to do, go to our exposure, go to our HD are wheels. Put in your camera's color space and its gamma. We're just going to lower that a little bit. Let's see, 1.3. So you can see now it's at a better exposure, but you can still see that the highlights are blown out. Some of the shadows are clipped. What we're going to do is use the lift gamma gain to make these colors a little less. And for 709, we're also going to put saturation compression. I almost forgot about that. But with the lift gamma gain, you're going to drag the gain down till it's about to there. And you can see it brought back so much detail, but it made the rest of our image look kind of dark. So we're going to raise that to a decent amount. And now you can see it's basically the same exposure, but with more dynamic grain. But you can see now it looks a little flat and we're going to fix that. Do our contrast down to editable spline and now I can lift this up. Now you can see I can either go really heavy on it or just go really light. I'm going to go really light and you can see it's still kind of blowing out but it's a lot more color than before. If we go back and forth you can see that here now it looks a lot softer than before. Before it's just kind of like pure white. Then here we're going to drag down our contrast. Next what we're going to do since we want this to kind of be like a warm vintage feel we're going to do PL printer lights and basically what you're going to do is go to the primaries, raise the reds a little bit, bring down the yellows, more orange, bring down the magentas because you want it to look vintage and you can see this makes it like really warm, really vintage. And I would really go lean into the magentas here because it looks really nice in my opinion. And what you can do is you can even edit the saturation before this. You can either make it really saturated or really desaturated. You can even do that after this node and it creates a different effect. And even with this LUT, you have a warmer version which makes it even more warm. So if you want it to be more warm, you can have it like that. Really, actually, I'm gonna go back to the PL and I'm going to make the shadows just a little bit cooler. So this is before and that's after, and I'm kind of correcting the shadows. And here, I'm just gonna edit the hues and I'm gonna kind of speed through this. That's the hue. Then I'm going to add a glow node, GLOW. Just like the last time, I'm going to go to soft light. I'm going to bring down my threshold, bring down the spread. Then I'm going to raise this up, and you can see it makes everything pop. 0.35 I'll do, because I'm trying to make this road kind of pop. And you can see the highlights are just insane right now but bright region recovery you can recover that brightness recovery see I can recover those highlights and I will do that 0.55 just a little bit put it at one because I want this kind of hazy look raise the threshold to make those shadows a little deeper then I'll go to blend you can see what how big of a difference that makes and I might add a second glow I'll leave it for add for now but I'll just get that glow alone, really focus on those trees, spread that out 0.5 and I'll put screen and you can see when I do screen, it doesn't clip as much, feather this out more. And this is just creating like a whole glowy, anyway that's looking good. Now you can see here it's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do, add another node, and I won't even add it after this, but I'll add it after the LUT. 
because I want this to look vintage and kind of old. Tap a point on the darkness. Get rid of editable splines. Tap a not so dark point like right there. Create a little fade. And last time I named this vintage, but this time I'll just name this fade. And you can see it is more teal there. Now I'm just gonna do an overall correction. Anything that I don't like, I'm going to fix. So like I said here, you see this like teal. So I'm gonna go to the reds bring the reds up a little bit and you can see how subtle that is it's very subtle but it creates an overall warmer feel to the image and if i want even more warmth i could just take this drag it to the warm a little bit and i'll just name that warm but anyway that's how you get the fall vintage orange look and if you want to get the cool fall look i recommend watching my previous video up here